Hello and welcome. We're going to be focusing on streamlining and bug fixes uh, from our previous tutorial to make this actually work correctly. This is the most consuming part of creating a profiles as very often you come across certain bugs that need to be eliminated before the profile is fully working. This is what we're going to focus on in this series. As you previously noticed, we've got three different profiles that will clear our notifications. This is obviously can be done as a one profile that would include all the notifications from Hangouts, Facebook and WhatsApp. This is what we're going to do now. We're going to modify one of them and delete the others. We just need to jump into auto notification settings and add Messenger and Facebook. Once this is done, we no longer need the other profiles, so we're going to clear Facebook and clear Hangouts, select them and delete them. The name is no longer relevant, so I'm going to change it to clear all. This also means that we're no longer going to need separate tasks for each of the profile. I'm going to modify one and delete the other one. I'm going to select clear W and I'm going to use it as my base task. When we're clearing notifications, we want to clear the name that has been passed to our profile. So we need to clear three variables, WhatsApp name, Facebook name, and Hangout name. We have to also make sure that our files contain no messages after the messages has been cleared. So we have to overwrite three of them as well. We're going to enter space in a text field for now. As you remember, the message is handled by variable name current messages. So we want this variable to be cleared as well. Since we've got three message handlers, I'm going to repeat this three times for each service. When the messages are cleared, this means we no longer need notification on the phone. We have either dismissed the notification by clicking on it on a device, or we want that notification to be dismissed the minute we finish reading our messages over the headset. Auto notification allows us to cancel any pending notifications on the phone. They're not longer gonna be needed as we already check the phone or listen to the messages. This profile is completed for now, so I'm just going to quickly rename it to something more appropriate. I'm going to use clear A for clear all notifications. I no longer need the other tasks, so I'm going to delete clear F and clear H. These tasks were present in our read task, so I'm just going to delete them from there as well. You can also notice that number 7, perform task clear A, the name has been updated there automatically. It's also a good idea to have a quick look on our profiles to make sure everything is set correctly. We are going to redefine how we store our messages, as the logic can be buggy at times. I'm going to remove all the logic elements from the profile and start fresh.
when we first receive a message, we want to make sure that the file we're going to store it in is empty. Entering single space should do the trick. Next, the first value we want to write is the title, which is the name. I'm going to add additional punctuation to create a voice gap when the file is read. And in the third right, I'm going to add the text of the message. Make sure it's being added to a new line. I'm going to repeat this for each task I've got for Facebook, Hangout and WhatsApp. In the first right, make sure that you do not append or add line as we're going to replace entire file with an empty one. The next step is to modify our read task. We're going to make sure all the messages are being read when they have to be read and when there is no message we'll get appropriate comment. We're going to start with adding simple say command that will inform us that there is a message. I'll add say you have. I want this part to be played only when there is a pending notification to be read. Therefore I need to check our variables containing messages if they have any messages stored. You might be tempted to use is not set function, however I discovered it can be quite buggy. We are going to set the logic to R. And then we're going to set the variables to something that is unlikely to be presented in the messages. I'm going to set our variables to 0x0 0, and I want them to store this value each time they don't hold any message. Once this is done, we want this to be first thing that our profile will say. I'm going also to modify our current say actions to match the same conditions and change the text a little bit. I want the message to play each time current messages variable is not set to 0x0. I'm going to apply those changes to each messaging applications. We also wanted to create a task that will inform us that we have no pending messages each time we will trigger this action. We want this message to inform us there is no new messages whenever variables current messages are set to 0x0. We're going to use condition end as this information is true when each variable has no stored messages. For our logic to be true, we need to set our variables and files to contain 0x0. 0. 
So we're going to do this each time we're going to clear pending messages. This way, default state for our files and our variables current messages is to contain 0x0. This value is cleared when we receive a new message. All we're missing now is to add read file task to make sure our value 0x0 is being passed over to variable current messages. We will have to repeat it for each variable. These tasks take a few moments to complete, so after some testing I discovered this is the best order to perform the task list in order to avoid any problems. When we run clear all tasks, you should see the variable being set to this. Due to nature of a messenger application, it is best to set notification settings to monitor only non-persistent messages. This is the completed profile and should be working without any problems right now. Any comments or questions, feel free to leave the comments under the video. I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.